name is Gigi and I will be reading Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, but every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really bad. The warthogs, the warthogs started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced the tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did the cha-cha with very Latin feel, and the eight baboons teamed up and for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all laughed. Giraffe can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be a daft. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to, to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cold foot, who seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing! Yes, I'm dancing! I'm dancing! Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogie on the on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, It's a miracle! You must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever seen. How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when when we find the music that we love. Thank you for listening. Bye!